Hey guys, it's Jill. Hope you're all having an amazing day. So today, today's video is going to be all about snacks that I've been truly enjoying that have been helping me lose weight, stay on track, and also stay 12 weeks or be 12 weeks binge free at this point. So super excited about that. It's such a huge accomplishment. I'm so incredibly proud of myself. So yeah, I was going to do this video in with my weigh-in for this week, but I decided that I would go ahead and do this video as a separate video because as I was going down the line of my snacks, I realized that it was going to be a way longer video than I want it to be for a weigh-in and also I forgot some snacks. So you're going to see me in a completely different outfit, but yeah, that's why. Um, it's still the same day. Um, it's just nighttime now. I hope that the lighting is okay. It's a little weird, <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and get started. So basically I have some snacks right here that I'm going to go over and then I'm going to take you back into the one that I filmed earlier with the bulk of the snacks. Well, the bulk of the snacks and then I'll outro it. But anyways, this right here, okay, these are expensive and I go into when I talk about my snacks and why I like them and all that kind of stuff. I go into portion control for me and something that's been huge for me when it comes to helping me not binge are is portion control. Spending a little bit more money to buy things that are already pre-packaged for me. Crackers are a huge binge trigger for me. So our chips, so is popcorn, so is like any of that stuff. I, I honestly can't have like cakes and cookies. Like those just don't even come in my house at all because even with portion control, I still can't control myself. But when crackers and stuff like that are in containers like this, I am so much better. So this right here is perfect. It is just a little meat tray. Well, it's a meat and cracker tray and it has 18 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat, which I know it's a little high, especially for a snack. You can totally make this into a lunch if you needed to. Um, to be honest, this doesn't hold me long enough for a snack, maybe if, or for a lunch. Maybe if I added some fruit and maybe a little something else, it might, but it has 290 calories, 22 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 18 grams of protein, and of course you can totally half this if this is like too much for you for a snack, or you can totally use this as a lunch. But this is just a perfect, again, on-the-go container. And you're going to see a lot of on-the-go stuff because I am literally on the go all the time. So I just need super convenient stuff like this. Can I make this myself? Absolutely. Can I make this myself for way cheaper? Absolutely, because these are like $2.50 a piece. But again, I have tried it before where I have brought Triscuits in my house with the box and I have eaten all of them in one sitting. So I just can't trust myself with Triscuits and these are such a perfect little snack. I love eating these like on the way to the gym. So I have something in my stomach but it's not super heavy or anything and it holds me from after work until I come home and I'm able to make dinner or, you know, eat dinner or whatever. So love those. <clears throat> by the way, they're from they're made by Oscar Meyer. And the ingredients are pretty decent. Another one, if you guys know anything about me, you guys know my obsession with these Chobani flips. They have a new one out. I have not actually tried this one yet, but it's the Autumn Harvest Crisp and it's pumpkin spice, low fat Greek yogurt with pecans, cranberries, and ginger snap crust. Cannot wait to eat this for breakfast tomorrow. I do sometimes eat these for snacks, but I wanted to just throw these up as an option because I literally have one of these flips a day. Um, they also, Chobani also has just the regular plain yogurt that's in the container where it's like blueberry or cherry or banana or something like that. But I just love these, these um, flips because again, I eat them for breakfast. So it's a little more filling. It is, this one in particular is 190 calories, five grams of fat, 25 carbs, um, it is high in sugar, 19 grams of sugar, and 11 grams of protein. So if you are watching your sugars, it's definitely probably a little too high for you. But yogurt is great, especially Greek yogurt. Um, great protein source, great source of protein. Um, something I don't have to show you here, but is also a great snack, are smoothies. And I'm talking about the homemade smoothies, not the smoothies that you get out and about. 
because those are definitely loaded with like tons of extra stuff. But for me, I always do a green. I always do like a mixture of fruits. I always do a banana. The banana is so crucial, crucial because that is what's going to give you your sweetness. Um, sometimes I make it like with a little too many greens and I'm like, Ooh, that tastes earthy. <laughs> I'm like, Ooh, that tastes earthy. And everyone always laughs at me, but, um, yeah, I think that's everything. Water, just like eight ounces of water, a banana, some mixed fruit. Oh, and Greek, a, a plain Greek yogurt. So that's how I get, you know, some more protein in my diet as well. And I've actually been taking one of those to work with me every day because it's like a super easy, convenient snack for me to just like sip on, you know, if I'm hungry or whatever. And it holds me over from lunch or from breakfast until lunch. And on top of that, it's all like natural, like completely 100% natural, nothing added in there. And it's a great way for me to get my greens in as well because if you guys watch my What I Eat In A Days, I, sh I really do. I do struggle to get in my um, my vegetables. I do, and I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm trying to get better about that, but it's a struggle. Um, so another great snack idea is these little laughing cows. These are so delicious, even to just eat on their own just like this. They are so good. I can't believe I've been talking for seven minutes. I've only gone through two things. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are so good. You can put them on plain rice cakes, which again, rice cakes are a delicious snack. I don't have them. I have them in my pantry. I don't have them here, but the Quaker, um, actually, hold on. I have a pack right here. Um, these caramel cakes, these caramel rice cakes, they're delicious. They're like 50 calories in one cake and they're just so 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 good they also have like chocolate and they have like legit like little chocolate chips in them and those are so good as well also this on the back of the package said to do like this was another snack idea and it's to take one of these top it with cream cheese peaches and honey i was like ooh, that sounds delicious definitely not an on-the-go snack for me um, but that would be something really good to make at home. That sounds absolutely delicious. But yeah, you could take one of those plain ones and spread some of this on it and super delicious. Of course, hard boiled eggs, like nothing more to say about this. Loaded with protein, no carbs at all, no sugars, and just a really great handy on the go snack that literally takes seconds to eat, but is loaded with protein and eggs are just always so good for you. Um, again, with the portion control, yes, these are more expensive, but they keep me on track and I love Lucky Charms is my favorite all time cereal. Like, oh, I love Lucky Charms. So yes, Lucky Charms. I also have um, Frosted Flakes and then also the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, and sometimes I'll eat this just alone like this as is at work or whatever. And sometimes I will go down into the cafeteria and I will get like a little carton of milk and I will eat my cereal with milk. And that's a great snack too because you add the milk and you've got protein. This has four grams of protein. Eight ounces of milk has like eight grams of protein. So that's eight, nine, ten, that's 12 grams of protein in this snack. So there's that. And then of course, good old fruit y'all. Like you cannot go wrong with just good old fruit. I've got some black grapes here. Yes, a nectarine, which they're actually soft all this year. And we live in the dang peach state all this year. The peaches and the nectarines have been so hard and they have not been juicy. And I have been very disappointed. This state is known for peaches and I'm living in a state that's known for peaches and the peaches have sucked this summer. Um, so anyways, this is nice and soft and hopefully it's nice and juicy too. And then I just have some cut up pineapple. So that's all that I have here for you guys right now. Let's go ahead and jump into the video that I recorded earlier so you guys can get some more snack ideas for your weight loss journey. Or if you're trying like a binge free journey, this can be whatever journey you want this to be. Okay, so snacks that I have been loving lately that have been helping me keep my hunger at bay until it is lunchtime or what's that other one? Dinner time. I'm gonna show you. I stand behind all of these. These are all super delicious and super yummy and you can buy all of them on Amazon. So I will link every one of them down below. I'm gonna start with one of my favorite and it is a protein bar. Now I despise 
protein bars. Like powdered protein is just, ugh. But I'm gonna tell you, these RX bars, <sighs> they are so good, especially this flavor. This flavor is be, be, by far my favorite and it'll make you fall in love with protein bars. Now, as with all protein bars, these are expensive. This was $6.48 at Walmart for six bars, so for four bars. So, ooh. Divided by four is one US dollar and 62 cents. Oh, I guess that's not too bad. A dollar 62 is it's not too bad. And especially for a protein bar that is clean. Listen to these ingredients, you guys. Egg, okay, dates, egg whites, almonds, cashews, chocolate, natural flavors, sea salt, and coconut. It has nine grams of fat, 210 calories, 23 grams of 23 grams of carbs five grams of fiber, 12 grams of protein. You also get some iron in here, some calcium and some potassium. And again, the coconut chocolate is my favorite. This is actually what prompted me to like make this video because I'm like, OMG, these are amazing. Or should I say add this into my weight loss video? Um, I also picked up these ones. These are the peanut butter ones and then somewhere in my pantry, I can't find them. I also got the chocolate chip ones. I have tried the blueberry. They have all kinds of flavors. I've tried the blueberry. They're not my favorite. I've also tried a couple of others that aren't my favorite. This one's by far my favorite. So highly recommend those, especially, I mean, great on-the-go snack. You throw these into your purse and call it a day. Like when you're hungry, you eat one, you got 12 grams of protein and it's gonna hold you over till lunch or dinner or whatever. Um, another one of my favorites, and again, I always talk about portion control. I love popcorn. I love chips. I will never give them up because if I do, like I always say in so many of my videos, especially my food videos, is the fact that I have been almost 12 weeks. Oh my gosh. That's 4 12 That's freaking three months. Whoa. I am almost three months binge free, you guys. Like, that is huge. Does that mean I haven't had cheat meals? No, by the way. Um, does it mean I haven't overeaten a little bit here and there? No, not by any means. But it does mean that I have not binged and like just ate a ton of food in one sitting. And coming from someone who did that almost on a daily, that is huge. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to take that little, let's get back on track. I have to have portion control. So when it comes to having chips into my in my house or popcorn or anything like that, I don't know what it is. I can have stuff like this, but if I have a full bag, it's like that mind frame, all or nothing. I have to have the whole damn bag. So with these, I can have the whole bag, but it's only 140 calories, eight grams of fat, 18 grams of car 18 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber one gram of protein. Now, because this is the kettle corn um, and it's sweet and salty, this is going to have, this does have eight grams of added sugar. So there's that, but this is the Boom Chicka Pop sweet and salty kettle corn and it is delicious. It is also very pretty. I am obsessed with this packaging. Have you guys had the Boom Chicka Pop ones with the chocolate drizzled? Now, if they make those in individual packs, I will be down for that. But I haven't seen them yet. I haven't even seen them on Amazon. I have, however, seen the big bags of those, and I cannot have those. No, don't even ask me to weigh out a serving because I will, I will eat the whole bag. And again, I don't know what that mentality is. It's just, it's literally like I will eat the whole bag if I don't. It's weird. It's so, I'm weird. But these are also a great snack. Um, they, they have a name brand. I don't know the name brand of them. And this is just the sea salt veggie straws. These are so delicious. And they're not like the most clean ingredients. But I mean, it's like potato starch, potato flour, sunflower oil, safflower oil, sea salt, cane sugar, spinach powder, tomato powder, beetroot powder, and turmeric. And you have 130 calories, seven grams of fat, 16 carbs, one gram of fiber, no sugars, and one gram of protein. So again, I just finished eating a bag of these. They are delicious and they're great. I am all about portion control. Another thing that is so delicious and I'm so upset with Amazon. 
They literally had my package. They were it was supposed to be next day delivery, and it was supposed to be here Friday. Today's Saturday, and it's still not here. It was sent here to my city, and like apparently like given to the postman. But now it's in North Carolina. It somehow ended up in like South Carolina, then another city in South Carolina. Now it's in dang North Carolina. I'm like. I have never experienced that with Amazon before and I'm a little salty like I am upset because I was so looking forward to the little variety pack that I got and plus those were like the ruffled kind. I didn't know that pop chips had ruffles but that was like ooh cool and they had like the sour cream and onion cheddar and sour cream. It's one of my favorite chips so I was like oh my gosh and I was so excited to get them but I ended up having to get them from Walmart. But these, again, are super delicious. Sea salt, there's not a whole lot in them. When you start eating them, you're like, wait a minute, that's it? But they're only 100 calories, three and a half grams of fat, 16 carbs, one gram of fiber, no sugars, and one gram of protein. So that's what they look like. I'm not sure if these actually come in larger bags than this, but if so, again, I will eat too many of them. These, however, are not pretty clean ingredients. But these are delicious. Like again, I'm that person that cannot have a big box of Ritz crackers because I can't just eat five of them if they're in a container. Are you guys with me on this? Are you guys like me or no? Am I just the only weirdo crazy person out here? Same with the goldfish. If they're in that big container, I cannot have the, the whole container. So I try to stay away from just buying crackers all together. But I found these. I, Funny enough, it was because they were passing these out at work and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so good. Funny fact, they these are actually better in the individual packs than they are in the, the large little milk carton looking containers. These again are not clean, so I'm not even gonna try to read the ingredients because there's a lot. But again, I mean, it's a little package, every now and then it's not bad. But I wanted to say I love adding these in soups. And anything really that you would add um, a cracker with, soups i also love it with you know on top of salads i also love it in chili i tried it in chili too and it was really good so 130 calories four and a half grams of fat 19 carbs um no sugar or like less than one gram of sugar three grams of protein i love these little fishies they're so delicious and then last but not least are these right here again i do not have to have nut butters in um in these small like handy dandy go-to containers they are definitely way more expensive this way i think they're like a dollar fifty a piece like this or something but these are the rx nut butters and they have nine grams of protein in this um, basically like it's a two two tablespoon serving 190 calories 15 grams of fat seven carbs two grams of fiber three grams of sugar um, but zero added sugars so in here you've got almonds egg whites dates coconut oil sea salt natural vanilla flavor vanilla beans natural flavors and that's this one which is the vanilla almond butter and then this one is the maple almond butter i also tried one of the peanut butters but it was flavored i can't remember which one but i mean pretty much same stats only this one has 14 grams of fat still seven grams of fiber two grams of seven grams of carbs two grams of fiber and nine grams of protein so these are so great on the go you can squeeze them into your oatmeal you can squeeze them on a plate, cut up an apple and dip your apples in them, um, dip some celery in them, dip some, I don't know, whatever whatever you put peanut butter on. Like these are delicious even on their own, just squeezing it into your mouth. They're so, so, so good. And I love the on the go convenience of these. But again, they do also have these in the bigger containers. I just like these, not just for portion control, but the inconvenience of like having to weigh out almond butter and like peanut butter is such a pain in the butt. So that's why I like them for these little, plus they're on the go. So that is a little rundown of some of my favorite snacks. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know any snack ideas that you guys have. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to leave down in the comments your snack ideas and what your go-to snack is. And I'll see you guys in the next one next Tuesday with another weigh-in. Bye.